Hello, everybody. Um, I skipped a step on the nutrias. This is the pickle. I have took them out. I'm spinning them in the washing machine, but the pickle is half ounce per gallon. Tells you right on the back of the jugs, step-by-step -step instruction. Half ounce per gallon, a pound of salt per gallon water. And I'm getting ready to shave the nutrias. And there will be like three short videos. I'll leave one not shaved. And then I'll show you a few pictures or videos of them, ones that I've shaved. I don't have anybody to help me record, so I'm going to do it all myself. But you'll see the step by step. All but the pickle. And then. I'm going to throw these in a concentrate tanning solution that I've kind of came up with myself with a couple different little products. And they'll have to soak in there for three days. You stir them four to five times the first day. And then you stir them for several days and then you take them out and you let them hang and dry and I'll show you all them processes. But, all right, I'll be back. Hello everybody. Here's what a nutria looks like, not shaved. Great big thick piece of meat right there. Then I got a couple over here that I've shaved. I just shave them down to the whiskers. I'll trim that little piece up with the scissors. It's as thin as the other hide. Here's one of the flat skinned ones. They shave a lot easier, just down to the whisker ends. I'm using the mini flesh awl. I also use a skife knife. And depending on the size of the hide, I use my big flushing wheel. But like I said, these are going to go in the tanning concentrate for three days. And then I'll make another video. You guys have a good day. Hello everybody. We're doing the next part of the nutrias. I took them out of the tanning solution. And I got an old washing machine on the back porch that I spin them out in. And they've been hanging pretty much all day. They're getting thirsty, what they call it now. It's dry, but it's not. And they're ready for finishing oil. As you can tell, these nutrients like to bite. This old guy or gal is bit up. They are vicious with each other. But here's what I do is I pull the front foot out. And I just use a paintbrush. Just rub it in. This is just the way I do it. Make sure you get that nose really good. And this is just Pro One finishing oil. Just kind of rub it in as you're putting it on. Pull it up, spread the tail out. Where you 
oil line is. What I do is I just rub the whole thing down. Don't let it wrinkle up so there's chances of you missing spots. Kind of hold it flat but rub it down. Then I turn them back. See about missing the spot there. But these are already tanned, this is just finishing oil, but you don't want to miss those. And then I fold the back, put the tail on the inside, because both sides of the tail will soak up oil. Flip it over. Pull the front feet out just barely where it's skin to skin. Close the valve, half fold it, half fold it. And I've already did the other six, there's seven. I got a bunch of bobcats, coyotes ready to finish oil. That's the finishing oil process. The next process will be, I'll hang them up tomorrow morning, put a fan on them, let the hair dry. Then I'll turn them skin side out, let the oil start dry, drying. When they're about 80%, I'll throw them in the tumbler. But I'll have more videos before then. Have a good one. All right, everybody. This is the next process of the nutrients. Yesterday they was wet. I hung them up fur side out. A little while ago I turned them skin side out. Got a fan going on them. I got a bunch of other hides back there. The key is you got to keep air moving. There, when I go to bed tonight there will be two or three fans set up in there. But I finished oiled them yesterday. And as you can see, it don't take much for these things to start drying. See how it's turning white? The hide's just a little bit slick. I'll do this a few times till it gets, oh, 80% dry or so. And then I'll throw it in the tumbler for a couple hours and they'll be done. You just stretch on them, make sure these edges of the tails are fanned out. They won't stay out, they'll curl back every time until they get dry and then they'll lay flat. As you can see I missed a piece here, no big deal, I can grab it with a pair of pliers. But this was a first try at the Nutrias, might be the only try, I don't know, I might try to get some more. But that's it. Now for the next day, I'll be stretching and pulling until they get 80% dry, and then they'll be ready to tumble, and I'll show you what they look like before we tumble them. Have a good day. Hello, everybody. These Nutrias, they hung all night. I did a small video last night of them. As you can see, they're starting to turn white. That means the oil's drying up. When you pull on them, it'll all go away. I might do this, let them hang for another hour, and then I'm going to put them in the tumbler. Because the hair size is still a little damp right there. You don't want to put them in there with the fur side too damp. Or it'll just make the whole hide really wet again. Yeah, I'm going to let them hang just a little bit longer. 
maybe an hour, maybe two, and then I'm going to throw them in the tumbler today. And then after they're done tumbling for a little bit, I'll make another video. I hope you all have a good day.